Every two weeks, I do an update so that those who are interested but unable to observe the construction of the roundabout can keep up with its progress. I also try to answer questions that come up from time to time. A couple of items mentioned were the power lines that run through that area and the water line that feeds the rest stop east of the intersection. According to City Superintendent Jeff Williamson, the Midwest Energy Power Lines that supply St. John were put underground, and since St. John has its own power plant and was able to generate on the day that the lines were cut over, the citizens of St. John enjoyed a day with no power outage. And according to the City Clerk's Office, the water line that runs from St. John to the rest stop two miles east of the intersection had to be redone as well. There is still some confusion about the roadwork that does not look like a roundabout. What you see now are both the temporary bypasses and the permanent bypasses being laid at the same time. The concrete that you see now is for the permanent bypasses. The dirt roadbeds that we see now, when surfaced, will carry the traffic when the intersection itself has to be taken out.